isotopy and relative atomic mass calculations. Now, in today's video lesson, I shall be using some formulas, okay, to solve questions based on these aspects. You can see relative atomic mass calculations. Now, first thing first, we need to understand the term isotopy. Now, isotopy is simply a phenomenon whereby atoms of the same element have same atomic number but different mass number. Now, this is what I mean. For example, we are given an atom X, okay, and here is A and also here is Z, okay. I call A the atomic mass. And atomic mass is basically called mass number, okay. Atomic mass is also called mass number, or if you don't call it mass number or atomic mass, you call it nuclear number, okay. It's called nuclear number, whereby Z is simply the atomic number, okay. Z is simply the atomic number. Now, isotopy is a phenomenon whereby atoms of the same element, for example, this is chlorine, okay, chlorine 3517 and also chlorine 3717. Okay, is the phenomenon whereby atoms of the same element, you can see here, this is chlorine atom, the same element having different mass number, okay, you can see the mass number here, they are different, mass number is also called atomic mass or nuclear number, but they have the same atomic number, which is 17, okay, now, the first hypothesis on isotope was carried out or was discovered by a man called Frederick Sodi. Okay, the first isotopy, the first hypothesis rather on isotope was discovered by a man called Frederick Sodi. Okay, Frederick Sodi in the year 1912. Okay, and this concept was rediscovered by a man a year later which is called Francis Anston, okay? Francis Anston rediscovered this hypothesis, and that year is 1913. Now, on isotopy, in today's video lesson, we'll be solving questions on relative atomic mass. You can see the question written on the board, okay? Now, let's go ahead and solve the problem. Before we solve this problem written on the board, I will write different formulas, okay, on how to solve questions based on this concept. Different formulas on relative atomic mass, okay? Different formulas on relative atomic mass. Now, the first formula we can use to solve problems on this concept is relative atomic mass is equal to percent one okay times mass one which is m1 basically over 100 plus over 100 now the question you ask yourself what is percent one what is percent two what is m1 and also what is m2 okay now Percent one is simply percentage abundance, percentage abundance of the first isotope, percentage abundance of the first isotope, while M1 is simply mass number, mass number of the first isotope mass number of the first isotope now percent two is simply percentage abundance percentage abundance of the second isotope percentage abundance of the second isotope and m2 is simply 
mass number, mass number of the second of the second isotope. Mass number of the second isotope. Now, you can solve this particular question written on the board without even using this formula because the relating atomic mass of any element is not an whole number. The relative atomic mass of any element is not an whole number. So basically, when you see these options written on the board, a smart student may not solve. A smart student will just check the options that is not a whole number. You can see option B here is not a whole number. So basically, the relative atomic mass of oxygen is 16.2. But we shall solve because some we can also see some cases whereby they will give us options that are not whole numbers, basically. So we all need to understand the concept by using the formula written on the board now. Now, with this formula, we can solve this problem. And in today's video lesson, I'll be using three formulas to solve problems on relative atomic mass calculations. Now, this is the first formula. Now, let's go ahead and solve this question. Now you can see percent one is percentage abundance of the first isotope. M1 mass number of the first isotope. Percent two percentage abundance of the second isotope and M2 mass number of the second isotope. And remember, percentage abundance can also be called relative abundance. Okay, percentage abundance basically is also called relative abundance in calculation purpose. Okay, also called geometric abundance, relative abundance or percentage abundance. Now let's go ahead and solve this question written on the board. Now let's impute parameters. The question says, Oxygen is a mixture of two isotopes. And remember, isotopy talks about the same element, not different elements, having different atomic mass. And remember, I said atomic mass is also called mass number, or you call it nuclear number. Okay? Having different atomic mass but the same atomic number so the question says oxygen is a mixture of two isotopes oxygen 16 8 and oxygen 18 8 with relative abundance of 90 percent and 10 percent respectively the question now says the relative atomic mass of oxygen is remember i said that the relative atomic mass of any element is not a whole number so basically the options the option here that is not whole number is basically the answer but let's solve to check is actually correct so you can see here oxygen 16 has this 90 percent and oxygen 18 has this 10 percent because of this statement respectively now let's go ahead and impute parameters now what is the percentage abundance of the first isotope the first isotope mentioned was oxygen 16. So basically, the percent abundance of the first isotope is 90%. So we'll say 90% times the mass number of the first isotope. This is the first isotope. So the mass number is 16. The mass number is 16 over 100. Plus percent abundance of the second isotope. Now, the second isotope here is oxygen 18. So the percent abundance is 10%. So we say 10 times what the mass number, which is M2, is 18 over 100. So let's press our calculator. So relative atomic mass is equal to. 10 times 16 over 100 gives us 14.4. Okay. 
plus 10 times 18 over 100 gives us 1.8. So the relative atomic mass of oxygen becomes 16.2. The relative atomic mass of oxygen becomes 16.2. So basically, the answer is option B. Okay, I said in today's video lesson, I'll be using three formulas to solve problems on relative atomic mass. So as a student, you decide the one simpler for you to use, but it is advisable for you to use the three and also know the three formula. Now, this is formula one. Now, let's go ahead and use formula two. This is formula one. Formula two. Now, formula 2 says Solving problems on relative atomic mass I shall be using another formula which is this Relative atomic mass equals L plus into bracket H A Okay, let me say L M over 100 times D. Now, what is the meaning of these symbols written here? Lm simply talks about the mass number of the lighter isotope. The mass number of the lighter isotope. H A talks about the relative abundance of the heavier isotope and D talks about difference between the mass number of both isotopes. Now, what is the, which of these isotopes now is the lighter isotope? Now, basically to know that you just check the one with the lower mass number. So basically, oxygen 16 is the lighter isotope. This is the lighter isotope because of the lower mass number and this is the heavier isotope because of the higher mass number which is 18. Now with this formula we can also solve this problem written on the board. Now let's impute parameter. Now D talks about difference between the mass number of both isotopes. So difference between them simply talks about 18 minus 16, okay, we get 2 as the difference. So, let's impute parameters. Relative atomic mass equals Lm, the mass number of the lighter isotope. This is the lighter isotope. So, the mass number is simply 16. So it's the 16 plus into bracket HA. HA is the abundance, the relative abundance of the heavier isotope. This is the heavier isotope. So the relative abundance is what? 10%. So we see 10 over 100 times. D talks about the difference between the mass number of both isotopes. So the difference talks about 18 minus 16, so we get 2. So we say times 2, close the bracket. So relative atomic mass is equal to, when you press your calculator, you get 16.2 as the relative atomic mass of oxygen. Now, this is the second formula to use 
when solving problems on this aspect. Now, let's go ahead and solve with the last formula, the last formula, which is formula 3. Formula 3. Now, relative atomic mass for the third formula is simply H minus into bracket LA, let me say HN, over 100 times D. Now, what does HN talk about? It talks about the mass number the mass number of the heavier isotope the mass number of the heavier isotope and la talks about the relative abundance the relative abundance of the lighter isotope the relative abundance of the lighter isotope and we all know now that D simply talks about the difference between the two isotopes. So the difference here is two. So let's include parameters. So relative atomic mass becomes Hm, which is the mass number of the heavier isotope. This is the heavier isotope. So the mass number is simply 18 minus into bracket the, the abundance of the lighter isotope, which is 90. Okay, 90 goes with the lighter isotope. So it's a 90 over 100 times the difference, which is 2. So when we press our calculator, we get 16.2 as the relative atomic mass. So you can see now to solve problems on relative atomic mass, we can use three formulas to solve problems on this aspect. Remember, isotopy is the phenomenon whereby atoms of the same element, not different elements, the same element have same atomic number, but different mass number. Mass number is also called atomic mass or nuclear number. And remember the first hypothesis on isotope was carried out or was discovered by a man called Frederick Sood in the year 1912. But later rediscovered by a man called Francis Armstrong a year later, which is 1915. I believe now we now understand the concept about isotopy and the relative atomic mass calculations. Thanks for watching.